Hello, so in this video I'm going to give you a brief explanation of how the script works in case you wanted it, wanted to edit it yourself. So I'm going to open up the script editor and I've got the uh, now script loaded in. Now if I run it by hitting the enter key on the numeric keypad it's going to enable it and things are wired up here and it makes things easy to animate all we're going to do is keyframe these uh, but the blink is not wired up so um, I'll show you how to wire that up now before I get into that click on the face and over here in the channel box and under inputs I've got this incoming connection which is called facial blends if I click on that see that facial blends has all the attributes which are the blend shapes that uh, or the morph car targets that drive the face and these controllers are connected. The purple means that they are being driven by these controllers. The ones that we want to drive and wire up are the blink left and right. So if I click on, click on blink left uh, on the text here, and then if I come out into the uh, scene window, hold down the middle mouse button, it becomes a virtual slider. And with the middle mouse button, I can drag it left and right. As I make the eye go halfway down, you can see that that's the value between 0 and 1 here. So I can reset that. And so the blink left and right are the attributes I want to drive with the blink control. Okay. So the first thing we do uh, in the script and if I select facial blends, first thing we do is delete all the expressions that exist so that you're not just creating, because they're not going to override if you make new ones. They'll just uh, append numbers onto them and then you'll have a whole mess of expressions. So I'm going to delete the expressions. And then the next thing that the uh, next command I use is a set attribute command. And what this does is sets the attributes of all these controllers to zero. Uh, but the blink is not yet set up. So let's do that first thing. So let's copy. And paste these and replace those values. So this is a history. Um, window so everything is select so this that's a select command it's really handy because uh, you can as you work in Maya you can see what the commands are and then you can build scripts to automate things so place replace brow control with blink control so if I select all numeric enter again so that zeroes out my blink control so that's good now what I'll do is uh, I'm gonna steal these expressions slashes is a comment so I'm going to change this to wire up uh, blinks okay um, now down here in the mouth you can see that I've got a negative one here and in the mouth control and the blink control are using values of 0 to negative 1 for Y, whereas the emotion control 
uh, which handles the smiles. It's just handling, it's not using negative, it's using both um, negative and positive. So I'm going to take a cue from that. Okay, so what do we have going on in, in our expression? So, dash n, and this is a mel command to create an expression, give it a name. Uh, in this case, let's call it uh, blink r, blink l. Uh, dash s is for string. So, facial blends, that's the Morph target node and the attribute here is browse up left. And the attribute we're looking for is blink left and right. So we're setting the uh, facial blend, blink left and right attributes to the values of our brow control based on X and Y. Uh, the clamp command is going to clamp these values between 0 and 1. If you don't use it, uh, you'll get uh, wacky results. Um, I couldn't explain all of the math here intelligently so uh, just know that the expression works and so you just kind of plug in your values so right now I've got brow control so what I need is uh, blink control change that that And so if all goes well, I think that'll work. So we'll select it all. And I think the only thing I need to do is if I pull it down, left and right. So you can wink at you if you want. I think the only thing I need to do is just change the uh, values here. Select it again. So oh, perfect. So this script will work on any Mixamo character. And if you want to invoke any other attributes, you can do so and maybe have some fun and uh, makes animating the faces a whole lot easier. And uh, I'll show you something that I did that only took just a couple of minutes. So first I'm going to save this out. So I'm going to include this with the materials. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to edit things. Mel's a pretty easy language to use. You can also use Python. So you need to make sure when you um, or using Mel that you're in a Mel tab as opposed to a Python tab. So I can create a new tab here and it's going to ask me Mel or Py Python. So make sure you're in a Mel, Mel tab if you're running this uh, Mel script. And again, I uh, just took this middle mouse, dragged it up to the shelf, and that's how I can enable it. Save this in my scripts directory and it's going to source it when I open it. I'm going to go into Notepad++ and under Languages you can say um, define your language, make a user-defined one. 
So if you Google um, Notepad++ Mel, you will find on the internet there's a couple places where people have defined a, a Mel language for syntax highlighting. So we'll go into that. Um, I'm just going to import. It's just an XML file. So I'm just going to load a uh, XML file that I will include uh, with the files for this. You can also find it on the internet. Open. Import successful. So now if I click on Mel, it gives me a Mel extension. So that's good. So what I'm going to do now is shut it down. And if I open it back up, And if I open so now it comes in uh, using Mel and I could this is more of a proper editor that I could use and I could work outside of uh, my script editor which is a little more limited so I hope this helps with uh, scripting and give you ideas for making even more controls more inspired controls and what you, what you see here have fun